we've learned a lot about how animals and us too, how we use our senses for a lot of different things in order to survive. Now, there's one animal who is really at the top of using its senses. Can you guess which animal? The tiger. Now, we've all seen the tiger, but how does it use its senses in order to survive and to catch its prey and to live in the forest? Well, firstly, its eyesight is extremely powerful. Tigers can see six times better at night than the rest of us can. That's pretty neat, isn't it? On top of that, they have whiskers just like cats do. But how do they use their whiskers? They use their whiskers to sense movements or vibrations around them. So it helps them catch their prey or to detect any movement in their environment. Moreover, tigers have really strong sense of hearing and they use their ears to capture sound from around them in order to detect if there's anything there. And in fact, they have such strong hearing ability that they can even tell the difference between the rustling of leaves and some small thing moving on the top of grass. That's interesting, isn't it? So make sure you're never near a tiger because it definitely knows you're going to be there. All right, so what other senses does a tiger have? Well, it can roar or snarl really loud. In fact, its roar can be heard all across up to three kilometers. Can you imagine how loud that would be? I know I wouldn't want to be standing right next to one when it roars, that's for sure. Can you think of anything else about a tiger? Yes, it definitely has an area which is marked by its urine. So what a tiger does is that it has its own region or territory as we like to call it and it marks it using its urine. So whenever any other tiger comes into its area, it can detect the other tiger's presence by the smell of its urine. And normally, one tiger doesn't venture out or go into the area of another tiger. So they stick to their own homes, as we might call it. Now, the problem is that even though tigers are so alert and they have such strong senses, still the number of tigers in India and across the world is really reducing and reducing fast. Now, this is because many people are hunting or poaching tigers. Now, if this happens, at one point, there will be no tigers left on Earth. Can you imagine a world without these wonderful, beautiful animals? That would be horrible, wouldn't it? So in order to protect tigers and similar other animals, which are really close to losing out on their numbers because of hunting or other reasons, governments have decided to keep certain areas of forest as protected areas. So they've set up things like wildlife sanctuaries or national parks or wildlife reserves where it is not allowed to hunt these animals. Now, other animals that are really close to being under the threat of their numbers going down include animals like elephants, which are hunted for their tusks, for ivory. Then we have the rhinoceros, which is hunted for its horn. Moreover, animals like snakes or crocodiles and even tigers are hunted down for their skin. Even the musk deer is un in danger because just for producing a little bit of scent from its musk, they are also killed. So make sure that whenever you see an animal or whenever you learn about an animal, you also understand just how important and special and wonderful they are. They're all a part of nature and they're all here for a very specific reason. So let's all respect that and make sure that we support the cause of protecting and preserving these wonderful animals.